Good morning, beautiful people. I'm back with another flip through. I just finished this this uh, bricolage junk journal, art journal, whatever you want to call them. I super am happy with it. Um, so I'm going to do a flip through. This one is seven and a half inches tall by five inches wide. It does have a hundred pages if you count front and back. Um, it ties closed with the sorry silk ribbon as usual and I wrapped it around several times so you get a lot of string here to play with. If you end up wanting to cut that down you certainly could and then use the string for other projects. It has a little um, eyelet in the back that the string runs through so you can also change it out if you want a different color or something. Uh, as usual you get the option for selecting the book guts for free. Um, if you purchase this, and I loved how this one had, I don't know if you saw this in my stories, but when I cut it open, it had this, uh, I don't know if it's like reinforcement glued to the spine, but it's kind of cool, it gives it some character. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, all my hard covers, I put a library card in the front pocket, and it's blank, so you can play with that however you wish. Um, so here, if you saw my post earlier, this is that piece of vintage writing that I read. And this is an actual vintage photograph. And this is a piece from a old recipe book and a vintage um, French vocabulary card. And those are just clipped on. So underneath here is space for you to do your art. This is a painted page that I did writing paper and some other blank paper for, well it's kind of a marbled blue paper, but great for your projects. Um, in this pocket we have just a journaling card that I made, and this is an old airmail letter that was typed. I actually haven't even read this one, but whoever buys it will have that option. It's from... 1968. Kind of fun. All right. And then some ledger paper there. This is an actual vintage postcard. It is from 1910. A little clip with a dangle there. It's a page from a old library book that I thought was super pretty. And this is the center of the first signature. There's three signatures and this folds out. There's the other side of that butterfly book. And this has several flaps so you can play around with layers. Another side of that pocket, there's just some old advertising and then a new guest check in there that you can use for journaling or art projects. This is actual vintage rickrack. Um, just a couple little treasures there and some vintage ephemera in there. And This is just a belly band that I made out of a paper ruffle and then this is this actually came out of a 1922 yearbook, um, but I made it into a big long journaling card, sewn all the way around the edges, and then tucked into this paper ruffle. Of course, you could do whatever you want with that. Flexible. This is just a paper clip with little pockets in it. It's a tiny journaling card here and some ephemera. This is my signature page. And there's a sticker and bingo card and playing card in this pocket. Old recipe, vintage photograph, some more flippies. Um, it's a tag for journaling. And this is an old postcard. This is from 1965. This is from an actual um, pattern page uh, cover. This is from an old children's science book. And 
and of course we had to do a Richard Scary page. Now I left these in here, these are the ties from the spine, but uh, you can trim them if you want. I just left them in so that you have the option of putting dangles on if you want them. They can totally be trimmed back and that's not a problem. A couple journaling cards in this pocket. Another journaling card from a Richard Scary book and a piece of old paper that you can play with or write on or art on, whatever you want. Old dictionary page. This is just a tuck with a journaling card that I made from a page of an old book. I'm going to put some gesso on this uh, dictionary page so it's ready to do some art on. This actual vintage photograph. A couple more journaling cards that I made. And this is just a belly band of sorts. And another old postcard. This is some typography page. This is from an art book. This is onion skin paper. Um, this flips so you can play with that. And this is from an old yearbook. Cute pictures. This is actual vintage writing paper. And then this folds out both ways. See a big spread there. It's the other side of that vintage writing paper. Recipe on there. And this is just a page that's been layered with different things in an old photograph. And this is that onion skin paper and I typed on there with my typewriter. And this is an actual vintage envelope and a journaling card in there. And this is a little piece from an old quilt, a vintage quilt. So a little flippy here you can play with. And another one of these um, paper clips that is also a pocket and this is kind of fun because so you have little things in here to play with but there's also in the back a hidden pocket so you can do whatever you want with that. I just tucked a vintage photograph in there for now but it's kind of fun place to put some secret journaling or something and then these go on here. This is just a journaling card and a journaling card. I just had them tucked up under here and then this is the back page. This is an actual vintage postcard photograph. Very cute. So there you go. That completes the flip through. This is already in my Etsy shop. If you don't see it there, that means it is sold. Oops. <clears throat> so that's it. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And I'll catch up with you the next time I have something to share. Not entirely sure what I'm working on next. I do have some old clipboards that need to be painted, so that might be my next project. Anyway, thank you so much, and I'll chat with you again.